April 6, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Now, uh, Fukushima, Japan has been very, very limited in uh, what they're releasing. Um, they're, they're reporting uh, nitrogen injected into the number one reactor um, that the big leak has stopped with all the super irradiated contaminated water. They're still reporting that it, their other pipes might be burst throughout the system and leaking out through to the groundwater from there. So that situation is not over at all. Um, again, they're finding radiated fish 50 miles off the coast. The, um, the mainstream media is reporting that uh, the fish is safe to eat from the Pacific Ocean, much like the safe from the Gulf of Mexico is safe to eat. And um, a whole bunch of links I will provide for you below. So let's get on to uh, everything else, shall we? Scott.net Record loss of ozone over the Arctic. The ESA satellite has measured record low levels of ozone over the Euro-Atlantic sector of the Northern Hemisphere during March. This record low was caused by unusually strong winds known as polar vortex which isolated the atmospheric mass over the North Pole and prevented it from mixing with the air in the mid-latitudes. Uh, how convenient that they pushed a big that initial burst of radiation up north into the North Pole and uh, all of a sudden we have ozone problems. New Zealand aviation alert at uh, Mount Rapihu as a first dump of season falls and again this lake is heating up I've been reporting on this the last couple of days um, the thermals aren't good and they're going ahead and uh, telling the airplanes to go ahead and fly around that thing two pages tonight volcanic quakes record at Tal Bulasan crater glow at Mayon and now this is in the Philippines that's three more volcanoes Restive Tal Volcano continued to show signs of activity as state volcanologists recorded last five volcanic quakes there in the last 24 hours. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology on Wednesday said it had also observed a weak steaming activity at the thermal area of the main crater lake. Uh, they also reiterated it's a warning against carbon dioxide in the area saying gas measurements in March amounted to 4670 tons, 4670 tons per day. That's a double of the 2250 tons per day in January. We need to tax this volcano. And the story continues with the volcanoes in the Philippines. The United States Pacific Northwest snow hail catch many by surprise. Uh, Washington residents in western Washington's convergence zone received a winter's flashback Wednesday morning. Snow and hail fell in several locations, catching many by surprise. We got two inches, said Kevin Lawrence of Granite Falls. The city cooled off enough to see snowfall and stick around throughout the afternoon until the sun began to melt things. Um, springtime in the north. United States Virginia residents wake up to storm damage uh, the day after a powerful storm ripped through the Kanawha Valley damaging thousands of homes the cleanup began just what we need more uh, damage cleaning up Japan's radioactive water could take decades that is a joke uh. U.S. Henry County, Virginia. Storm destroyed trees, buildings, and just a very severe thunderstorm yesterday um, here in the United States. Nambia, 62 killed, thousands displaced by floods as more rain expected. The United Nations say 62 people have been killed and thousands forced from their homes since the start of the year by flooding in northern Nambia. Uh, in a statement Wednesday, the UN's Children Fund says the numbers could dramatically increase soon. Kenya, heavy rains expected this month. 
Uh, U.S. Fish Kills, another legacy of a long, snowy winter. They have a video. Uh, Plymouth, Minnesota. Like a lot of Minnesotians, um, Bruce was happy seeing ice disappearing from his lake he lives on. Then he noticed what was underneath. I actually saw it last night as the ice melted, started to melt back. Uh, this morning, just tons of dead fish. Stramboli Volcano in uh, Italy, or Sicily actually, there's been a concerted series of explosions and landslides on Stramboli over the last 24 hours. Monitors at the Vesuvian Observatory have picked up 15 seismic signals associated with a mild landslide events. And there's another volcano warming up. Another volcano, U.S. geologist, Newberry Volcano is still a threat. Um, it's definitely showing activity when Newberry Volcano shows South Bend last erupted 1,300 years ago. Uh, gas traps, sticky magma exploded from the caldera south of the bend, blah, blah, blah. It's still hot under there, said Julie Donnelly, a research geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey's Volcanic Science Center. Uh, we have no reason to believe it's finished. And then over to the extinction protocol. Um, they have a lot of the same story, so I'm just going to cover what um, Scott.net didn't. Dust Bowl 2.0. Oklahoma experiencing worst drought conditions since 1921. Here again with the extreme weathers. Coal, Oklahoma. In most years, the dark clouds over western Oklahoma and in the spring would bring, be bringing rain. This year, they're more, li more likely being smoked from wildfires that have burned thousands of acres in the past month as the state and its farmers struggle with a severe drought. Uh, yeah, I've been reporting on these fires for a while. Uh, they got a fear piece. Scientist warns South Island's earthquake nightmare may be just beginning. Christchurch, New Zealand. People in Canterbury are being warned of more earthquakes and aftershocks for years to come. Uh, says the National Hazards Manager at GNS Science, uh, Kelvin Berryman. Says it's impossible to tell for sure how long the aftershocks will continue, but he says previous earthquakes in, the, in this country and overseas have been followed by seismic activity for up to 30 years. And that's right there on the Ring of Fire, too. Um, they've got the Philippine, Philippine Volcanoes story. And over to the Watchers. Um, I will provide a link. I've been doing it a couple of days. We have a geomagnetic storm in progress. Uh, the solar winds is blowing past Earth's elevated levels today, and combined with a south tilting BZ is stirring up a geomagnetic storming at high latitudes. C-class flare activity is now uh, affecting our magnetic sphere. I've got another um, link I'm going to provide for you. The Artis, the Solar IMG, and that's kind of the catch-all. You've, you've got a screen display of just about anything you want to see, and I highly recommend you check on that one. Uh, they've got one more story I want to cover. Arctic Ocean fresh water will cause unpredictable changes in the climate. Let's load this up. A vast expanse of fresh water in the mists of the Arctic Ocean is set to, to wreak unpredicted changes on the climate in Europe and North America, a new scientific analysis has shown. The water compromising of meltwater from the ice cap and, and runoffs from rivers is at least twice the volume of Lake Victoria in Africa and it is continuing to grow. At some point, huge quantities of this water are likely to flush out of the Arctic Ocean and into the Atlantic, which could have significant impacts on the climate. Scientists say they cannot predict when this will happen, though. Oh, and of course, the story continues. Um, if I've missed anything, please let me know. Uh, put your comments below or attach your videos. Until I see you next time, enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.